Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves the only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. Okay, what is up guys? We're gonna be playing Dying Light 2 Stay Human. This is really different from my channel. I used to post walkthroughs and gameplays like this a long time ago, but honestly, I didn't feel that I should do that anymore. But honestly, since I'm gonna be playing these games, I feel like I might as well post it. So let's get into it. I'm also thinking of playing Elden Ring as well. So stay on the lookout for that. I might stream that, but anyways, let's go. Twenty thirty six. That's a little scary. Fifteen years after the fall, so that means something. Something happened in twenty twenty one. You know, you know, you know what we was dealing with in twenty twenty one. Uh oh. Let me know in the comments. Would y'all survive a zombie apocalypse? I don't know about y'all, I'm built different. I'm like this man, yeah. You still got it. You know, this game used to be more fun. <laughs> you used to be younger. I'm dumber. What matters is, you still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. Yo, I like how they started it off. <laughs> Made it seem like they were really talking to the player. But, okay, I forgot how to sprint, but I think if you just go, it just does it. Oh, never mind. You got it, actually. Okay. Up here. I do like how... It, I... I I think I just forgot how this game plays. I, I haven't played it since in, I was like in high school, so. But this, You're still strong. this feels fluid. This feels crazy. Thanks. 
good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. How you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously, I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, that's chamomile growing here too. Yo, they are crazy for messing with this. They got nothing. They got nothing to really protect themselves from the stains too. You just gotta get active. About to have Barry B. Benson on the case? Just go ahead and get all these. This will do. Hold on, I've seen some more honey over here. Do you remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying, uh, remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living. Okay, that's how you make medicine. Well, good thing I grabbed a lot. It's not gonna let me do what he just did. Okay, there we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Somebody had a nice crib. Damn it. It was having parties. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. Oh Lord, you know what this means. Check the other side. This never goes well. Oh, and they're making... Oh, come on. I already know. Come on. If I slide under this, you already know what I'm going to see. A zombie's going to attack me somewhere. All right. I ain't scared, though. Never mind. I'm gonna try and search everything and I'll just cut when it's something interesting. Party. Uh, but hey, a party we would have long since lost control of the virus. Hey, 2023, March 21st, I'll see y'all there. What y'all doing? Gotta clean ourselves for sure. Give it a soap.
Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we parted ways. But why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know what I'm saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Damn, that's sad. Can't be attached to nobody in this type of environment, this world. It'll get to you if you lose them. It's sad that they gotta go through that. I wonder how the wine tastes. They got the red? The red wine? That, that Stella? Is that Stella? <laughs> Hey, yo, put on the CLB right now. Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Sounds familiar. And that's what they called art? It's abstract. Why he hating? Why he hating on us? That's how we live. Let me know in the comments, what would you guys do in a zombie apocalypse? Do you guys think, because me personally, if they're not fast zombies, I'm surviving. Like if they're like walking dead zombies a little bit, like it's light, but anything else, like some World War Z zombies, that's tough. It's heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. You know, I may have missed the story, but how did these people just die like this? Cause like, it's not like, like they were zombies. Did they get, was there like a chemical or something? Like an explosion? I don't know. I don't know what could have happened, but it's crazy. Let's see what else is around here. Hey, look at my guy, he was just chilling. He was listening to the Donda 2 live stream. Just relaxing. Like this. At least they had each other. She was classy. Oh, you know the game's about to be tough when they got pictures of the developers. The developers. Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. When they got the development team in the game, oh, you know it's about to hit.
looking like Jesse T. LaFlair out here. Y'all know nothing about that. Hey, hey, if you know anything about Jesse LaFlair, let me know in the comments. You, you're not a real parkour if you don't know nothing about Jesse LaFlair. Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. <laughs> I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about walls. Villador. So I'm that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly, they're knocking on our doors. All right. But you owe me one. No, not just one. So, what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. And what does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes. I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone the women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, <sighs> my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz at dawn. The guy's waiting for you. Okay, so let's get there. We got, uh, I'm guessing we gotta, yeah, we gotta go over there. So let's just go ahead and hop down.
and he plants it. Oh, wait, whoa, when I get this. Yeah, I guess we just had that on us. That makes sense. I didn't even know I could pull that out. Is there a zombie I'm not seeing right now? I'm looking. I pressed the button looking for honey in the plants, but I guess. I guess that just gave it away. We're about to run into some trouble. Oh, there it is. Hey, should I jump? Fuck it. You know, that wasn't as crazy as I thought it would be, but it is what it is. Oh shit. Let's get it started. Let's get it bopping. Let's get it bopping. First zombie. Uh, biters. Run up on it. Oh, it's another one. Bitch. Body, get some rags. Okay, okay. This right here, let's get that. Oh shit. Bro, I'm telling you, these jump scares, man. I'm not gonna lie, they they used to get me in the first game. I remember I had opened a closet in a room. It was a random closet in the room. The zombie just jumped out, bro. I was, I literally, I literally jumped. But back then we was bitch. Not Nato. We we not we not scared. They don't want nothing. We want all the smoke. Okay, so we gotta get up there. Go this way. I was tripping low key. I was all the way over there. I didn't know that's how you got up. Hey, what if I just jumped down and woke every zombie up? <laughs> Bro, that would be so dumb. Shit, I made a little noise, my bad. to tell me we can't make that? Come on. Right. 
I just gotta get my parkour mind back, you know what I mean? Gotta get my ninja warrior mindset. Then I then I then I won't be stopped. Gotta play Eye of the Tiger in this one. <laughs> Honestly, this little glory walk they got us going on is hilarious. Okay, another zombie. Get off that. Oh, I'm supposed to kick him. Oh, come on, respawn, respawn. Nah, that's not gonna do that. I want to be like, this is Sparta. Okay, we just unlock. All right, so that's the only one. Oh, now we got high jumps. Okay, now we can. I got it. Okay, okay. I was about to say, I know this. I know this. I know we could get up. I honestly forgot how to kick. It was like, all like that. All right, but. Clean this and go over here real quick. Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. I won't get any better than this. I kind of don't like how he's not sprinting, but I mess with it. I feel like in the station should be here somewhere. I feel like in the first dying light, you could sprint more, but I mean, it is what it is. Okay, we got some good stuff from right there. Hopefully these people aren't too mad at me for searching all their stuff. Oh no, not the footsteps. Oh lord. Here we go. Someone moved them. Not long ago. It's been moved. Okay, let's give it a try. Well, this is it, the broadcast station. I gotta start the generator. I know y'all see me. I'm thinking on the fly now with these parkour moves. I know y'all see me. What the? Okay, that's not. Oh, it's just the normal, normal zombie. Oh, what the fuck is that? Bro, 
Bro, what the fuck? Bitch, bitch. Bitch, that. This weird zombie, bro. Edward scissor hands, bro. Get me up. I need to search them. I know you got something on. He got a wristwatch. I like how the crazy zombie got an AP. That's hilarious. So quiet. Where is everyone? Maybe they're all dead. <laughs> You're stupid. Let's go. Now. Shh. It'll be all right. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Edie, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. I know. Do what I tell you. separate us, this is how we'll always find each other.
Man, what kind of weird shit they got going on with the kids, man? The military will be here any moment. Wait. Close your eyes. Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here, but we're gonna get right into episode two. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new.